Hey, love bugs, it's Rosalind back at you one more again. I hope everybody is doing blessed. I'm doing blessed and highly favorite and definitely hope the same for you. And if this is your first time stopping by my channel, much love to you and welcome. And to my returning subs, my growing extended beautiful family, just thank you so much for the support you've been giving me. You've been sending out positivity and being patient with yourself and learning and growing. You know, finding out different things about yourself that you didn't know about going towards this beautiful journey and I hope you find out a lot more uh, each and every day. So with that being said, much love to all. Namaste. Love and blessings. Love and light. Oh my goodness. And many blessings are definitely yet for you uh, for, to come for you. And with that being said, welcome. And um, if you've been watching my videos for a while and have not already, please like and subscribe. Even hit that notification bell so you know when I'm about to upload my next video. Also, if you feel like you are comfortable enough, please drop me a line or two. I love the chance to get to know you as much as you're getting to know me. Even if it's about the positive feedback of the content of my video, or you're just up telling me about your empathic gift. Oh my goodness. If you... <laughs> Even if it's about your empathic gift, if um, the video has been very informative to you, oh my goodness, a psychic itch. Um, if it's, the video has been very informative to you or just very, you know, it gives you good vibes, please go ahead and share with a loved one, family, or friend that you feel like it truly needs it. Or if not, just give me a thumbs up and share on your social media favorites wherever you see fit. And thank you so much for the 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 peaceful vibes and the blessings. I don't know why I got stuck on that, y'all. And thank you. I, it's greatly appreciated. And I hope you're able to resonate with the content of my video. Oh my goodness. I know I'm about to just start talking about some some intense stuff. Um, activate your... Uh, this is the meditation I'm listening to. Activate your super consciousness. Uh, 8,190 hertz powerful ascension meditation meditation frequency vibration tone 33 hertz and i will post that link in the description box below i hope you can hear it i don't want to put it too loud because i know they have this little sh you know this high pitched tone and i'm not trying to vibrate anybody's ears because i know a lot of y'all are not you know you're not watching this on tv i know i can cast mine through the tv or whatever so i'm just really not trying to be told i was sent to go ahead and play this so um i don't know what's up with that but you know, I'm going to go ahead and play it. If I was wrong to go play it, I'll go ahead and do that. So, but today my video is about Twin Flame 101. Hey, Hocus, when you feel emotionally and mentally drained, remember that it won't always, it won't be like this forever. It's not. You know, we're really going through things like crazy. Y'all know, it's just like I told y'all, it's just been, um, uh, We've been activated, so it's just a lot of things are coming to the forefront. A lot of things that we have to release, a lot of things we need to enhance on, a lot of things we need to improve on. Oh my gosh, I'm like getting chills, y'all. I don't know if it's this is got my head itching and everything. <laughs> y'all say I'm scratching my nose, I'm scratching my head, and I'm getting chills. Um, it is like yesterday. I was watching this movie. I like I told y'all, I love watching horror movies. I, I guess because my my life has been like a living nightmare. There's nothing that I'm really scared of. Like the only thing I will never watch again is like uh, Human Centipede, that which was very gross. Um, I don't know which one other one I wouldn't watch again. I forgot. There's another one I wouldn't watch uh, other than Human Centipede. But yesterday, I got. Um, what is it? The Possession of Hannah Grace. And I thought that movie was really good. Now, Because it's like certain movies are drawn to me. Like I'm always looking at the, the uh, you know, the subliminal messages is trying to uh, reach out to me. And I said, I won't, if there's people interested in that movie, I'm not going to tell the ending. But it's like basically how our weaknesses, you know, dark, you know, the darkness comes towards you when you're, you're high on anxiety. Uh, you're going through a lot of depression and stuff like that because it's just a lot of stuff like I told y'all darkness is creeping up on us left and right and they're using all our weaknesses towards us you know to make you stay in that low vibration because they know darkness knows that you know love is going to win whatever is coming up like you know everything is going about you know Trump with these issues and some of these celebrities going to jail for messing around with underage people or underage children um uh, a lot of them are having sexual harassment charges put on them. Well, that's been going on for the last year or two. But it's just like now they got these popes. They're talking about these popes been touching these these children, altar boys, whatever, in the you know in wrong ways. But it's just a lot of things that's just coming up, and 
it's just been really crazy you know we have to go through these certain situations like i've told y'all before is for us to be reflecting on not for us because i don't know when you get up in your feelings you really feel like the universe is like really punishing you and it's not it really isn't you know we're like we have good days you know those aren't gonna last all the time you know um you're gonna have bad days but those are not gonna last all the time you just have to be grateful for both of those because anything that you're going through whether it's bad or good is always bringing you a subliminal message towards it and that's like i was getting the movie and that movie was crazy as I don't know what, what. It was like my third or fourth time watching it. But I was like, God, dog, what does this mean? What, what, what are you trying to say? But it was like, you know, this girl got attacked in the darkness. Even though, you know, she was going through so much, darkness kept coming out, coming out, coming out stronger than ever. And we cannot allow our darkness to get the best of us. You know, um, some of y'all are meeting people that you think you're your twins and it's actually not. Um, it's to me from um what what i'm receiving is the fact is yeah that's a hurtful feeling for you to get a false twin flame but it's leading you towards your twin flame you know it, it's just like they needed you to go through that ultimate heartbreak you know i went through ultimate heartbreak with a person i was with for almost 20 well tw close to 21 years and that was like the most hurtful thing i can go through but i can at least say with that situation even though it was hurtful you know to go through that you know, he has really went through a lot of things for him to be that way. And, you know, I had to pray for him, you know, um, that knowing I know what his past is. I know the reason why he is the way he is. And I had to be able to accept him for what he is. You know, I can't be mad because this is the person that they, you know, this is what he showed me. You know, a lot of people that reflect uh, narcissistic behaviors on us has really been traumatized as, as a child. Um, they really went through a lot of things. I'm not, I'm not giving anybody an excuse, but you know, nobody's perfect. We, we all go through things, you know, it's just like, it can be a hurtful situation to go through, but you have to be, be able to see behind that because there's, it, it's just like when narcissistic folks come out like that, they're, they're pushing off their, their insecurities towards you. Um, you're seeing a lot of things that you, you can't unsee, but you are that strong person and it's just a lot of times it takes us to go through some tragic situations for us to know how much strength is when strength is all you got to go by you know so when we're going through this no one we're going through this for a reason but trust and believe it won't be like this forever you know you're going through the things like this because you're being tested also you have darkness coming at you because the fact is they can see that light in you that you can't see within yourself um, you've gone through so many different things when you know, you know, like I tell people I know there's certain situations you're going through currently right now And I, I don't know your whole situation But you have to look back on things that you have been through before that you didn't think you were going to be able to get through And you did, you know, but it just took time It just need because you can probably look at it now like Shh, I was crying over that Shh, I was upset because of her uh, shh, I was upset because of him you know you've gone through these things but you have gotten strength from those lessons and it, you know the sad thing is that people have put walls also up for that but you're not supposed to because it's just like the, the painful situation I've told people this and I had to learn this myself the situations you're placed in whether you know if it's good it's taught you a lot of things is bad it also taught you a lot of things it's not trying to tell you to put a wall up and it's just with, with me you know um i don't want to be alone as a relationship wise but i know i'm working towards something it's just like if i you know i met somebody and they, they don't make my heart skip a beat i'm not about to go through that I'm not about to torture myself knowing this is not going to work. You know, I got to have that, ooh, you know, situation about you. And it's not like I'm saying I'm better than anybody else. But I know, you know, I know I'm working towards something. I've been through a very, you know, crazy karmatic relationship. So that doesn't really put me through a lot. Even though I'm not putting up walls, I did at first, you know, put up walls saying, you know, there's not love out there for me. I know it is. But right now I'm working on me. I don't have time to be trying to work on me and be in a relationship because that's going to con conflict against different things and it won't work. So it's just like, why would I add more conflict to my life like that when I'm dealing with what I got to deal with right now? But I know there's love out there for me. I, I don't mind giving love another chance, but it is not there for me right now at that point in time because I know I'm working towards something uh, you know I'm working towards better in my life being in a relationship to where I have something to bring to the table right along with the other person so it is just like when you're working on yourself know that tragic things will come into your life it will make you emotionally and mentally drained like the last couple of days I felt that way 
I mean, crying and just like, God, why do you got me thinking about these things? Why can't I just let these things go? Or, you know, I forgot all about this. And now you, you bringing this up towards me again. And it was just like really hurtful. But then when I sat back and I, you know, I wasn't in my feelings anymore. And basically, I cried myself to sleep anyway. But it was just like going through that. I can really say I appreciate it because I said, once this, once I cry about this, I want to be done with it. I, I'm done. <laughs> and I wasn't getting mad at myself. I just told myself, you cannot keep on reminiscing about these same things over and over again. You have to be able to not push them aside. You know, anything that's coming towards you, don't allow it to push. Don't push it aside because I guarantee you when it comes back to you and you're reminiscing about it, it's going to bring a lot of emotions up right along with it. And you're not going to want to deal with that because that, that's really painful. And it was with me, it was the same way because I pushed it aside. I'm just like, oh, I'm ignore it. No. You don't ignore it. You just say, okay, I'm not going to allow this to keep affecting me because this is not no longer happening. This is my past. My past can no longer to keep affecting me, but it can affect my future if I keep on continuing to deal with this. You know, you want to be in a better place and you're like, well, I feel stuck. I feel stagnant because if you keep on, you know, keep yourself in that memory that past memory over and over again that's only that's the only thing you're going to be manifesting is those old wounds back and forth over again the hurt and the pain that you constantly been through you have to be able to let that go because you know you're heading towards bigger things so yes it will make you emotionally and mentally drained that you're going through this but excuse me that you're going through these things for a reason because the fact is you have to be able to you know look at it for what it is saying okay this has taught me a lot of you know a lot of things you know, whatever your lesson may be with the situation you have, you have to be able to step aside yourself and look, be biased towards the situation. You know, look at it and say, okay, is this, you know, is do I still have this person in my life? No. Or, you know, if you are, you're heading towards a different way. If you want, you know, you're, you're heading towards something big, you have to be able to let those things go so you can be able to pick up all the, you can make room for all the good things that are coming into your life. You have to be able to believe it, even though you don't see it, you're getting signs. You know, you might get aggravated like, dag, you know, I wanted this in my life, but I'm seeing all these other people get it around you, you know, around me. That's the whole purpose, because these are the signs that let you know everything that you want in life that you're seeing other people get. You're not supposed to be jealous, but just to let you know the thing, the reason why you're seeing these things, because these are things you're manifesting in your life. So these are the signs that you're everything that you're starting to see that, you know, can relate to the things that you're wanting or you're working towards this to let you know it's coming but it's going to be when you least expect it so allow yourself to be able to let go of those past hurt the past trauma the past pain that you have went through if you're not going through this anymore stop giving it power when you need to release it you know i had to tell myself that stop giving it power because even though these things have been said to you have been done to you you're not no longer dealing with these people you're not no longer you know, letting this affect you because you're a strong person. You're doing different things for you as well as others. So you're allowing them to see that, you know, stop allowing your past trauma or past mistreatment from others hinder you into this thing. Because, you know, if you, you got people around you that can see that light, of course they're going to, you know, especially if they're not happy for you. And a lot of people aren't going to be happy for what you're doing because, you know, they what they don't see they see something in you they don't see in themselves if they would pay attention to themselves they would be able to see the same thing too but they're so busy worrying about other people's journey they're not they're taken away from themselves so don't allow the situations going on around you to stop you from doing what you need to do for yourself so i hope this was able to resonate with with something you're going through or validate that you're going through and knowing better yet better is yet to come so don't allow the things to you know keep you stuck in that dark place so, uh, much love to J Jonas. Yeah, John, I think that's Jonas. Jonas and F Four Force and Lisa Johnson, much love to you. So now as much love and light and po positivity as I possibly can and you do the same. Know that you are truly blessed, highly favored, and forever loved. And knowing I, as well as others, are praying for your better days. So like and subscribe, hit that notification bell, drop me a line and let me know if you're going through this as well. And, you know share and i'll talk to you on my next video much love peace be wild